Hey guys, in this video we will draw this window with my Procreate Mocha kit. The links to buy this kit and download the pencil sketch and palette for this tutorial are in the description under the video. This is the reference for today's illustration. Open the canvas that comes with the marker kit, create a new layer, import the pencil sketch into it and lock this layer so that you don't accidentally start drawing on it. Come back to the painting layer. I already imported the palette, so I choose it on the palette panel and set it as default. Let's start with the yellow wall. Pick a light yellow color and choose the broad tip brush. Set the brush size to 50%. Look at the nature of the strokes that we are going to apply. By pressing lighter or stronger, I vary the stroke intensity. I start with a more intense stroke and end with a lighter stroke. So let's begin to draw the wall. Vary the pressure to make the wall more picturesque. The farther from the window, the lighter the stroke should be. Gradually apply strokes around the window. And now we come to the window frame. Choose a light grey color on the palette. We will apply strokes from dark to light, just as the shadow falls from the canopy. Now let's draw these window frames. Choose a light warm grey and set the brush size to match the width of the frame. Apply strokes by pressing harder at the beginning of the stroke. I put one stroke and put another one towards it. Go back to a brush size of 50% and darken the areas under the canopy a little more. slightly darken the bottom of the frame. Let's move on to the canopy. Choose the brush number 1 and this dark color from the palette. We will adjust the width of the stroke to each area. I love how playful the stroke is. Next, try to put the second stroke in such a way to remain a thin and painted strip between them. It will imitate the edge of the canopy. Something like this. And fill in the rest areas. Some small details are inconvenient to draw with the brush number 1, so I'll draw them with the brush number 2 a bit later. You can also paint small details with the fine tip brush. Add the contour lines to the canopy with the brush number 2. Pay attention to the nature of the lines. I try to vary the pressure to make the line more playful. Add some 
brush strokes with the brush number 2 in the areas where you feel like adding. But don't get carried away. I think that unpainted areas give lightness to the illustration. Moving on to the flowers. The leaves are composed of warm and cool shades of green. Let's start with warm areas. Choose a light warm green on the palette. I will draw foliage with such kind of strokes. Large and small. Apply strokes with different pressure and turn your hand to create diverse strokes. To draw dark areas, choose a darker warm green and add some shadow to the leaves. Repeat the same steps with the flowers. First, apply light pink strokes. Then, next to them, add shadows using a darker tone. Move on to the cool tone of the foliage and choose a light cool green from the palette. Try to make various shapes and sizes of strokes. Here I haven't finished drawing one flower so that I return to the pink color and continue filling the foliage area. Note that large leaves appear at the beginning of the branch and towards the end of the branch they become smaller. Therefore, at the end of the branch we will apply smaller strokes.
Now let's fill in the darker areas. Choose a medium cool green and add some cool shadows to the foliage. Let's add more depth to the shadows. I'll apply this dark cool green on the areas which we just painted with the medium green. Now let's draw the reflection of the canopy. We will make it with the brush number one. Start with the lightest yellow color. And here as well. Moving on to the orange. We will put it in these areas. Choose the darker orange on the palette and fill in the rest of the reflection. Use the brush number 2 to draw the edges. Trying to vary the pressure so that the line is not monotonous. In some areas, put a lighter orange and go back to the dark one. Change the brush to the brush number 1 and add some darker strokes with brown color. And again, draw the edges with the brush number 2.
Use the broad tip brush to add some shadow under the canopy. In some areas, this color no longer covers the previous strokes. We will solve this problem by creating a new layer. Set the blending mode to multiply, so the strokes on this layer will not just overlap, but will darken the underlying colors. Just like they are mixing with each other. Add more shadows in other areas. Decrease the brush size to draw small areas. Add shadow under the windowsill. And now we can merge the layers. When I turn off the sketch layer, I can see that the window frames are not straight enough. So I turn on the sketch layer again and use eraser to remove unnecessary stains on the frames. I will add color back to the areas that I just erased. See where you need to fix the areas near the window frames. In my case, I need to add orange on this area. Now let's add shadows to the window frame. Create a new layer again, set multiply blend mode and choose a light cool gray color. As before, I try to vary the pressure while drawing the lines. But as we are drawing an architectural element, make sure that the lines are straight. I no longer need the pencil sketch at this stage, so I turn it off and continue drawing the shadows. At the beginning of the line, I try to make it darker and dissolve it at the end. I will draw some of the lines with brown color.
Now let's draw the shadow from the leaves on the wall. First of all, merge your drawing layers. We will add some more light yellow color with the brush number one in the area under the leaves. Apply strokes the same way as on the foliage. Now take a darker color and darken the shadow areas. Use a darker color to add more depth near the leaves. Now let's draw the windowsill. For convenience, you can turn on the sketch layer again. I take my favorite brush for drawing small details, the brush number 2, and draw some shadow and contour lines. I think I don't need sketch layer anymore, so I turn it off. some strokes with the brush number one. Now take the darkest color on the palette and draw some twigs with very thin lines. These are the last steps to complete the illustration. I am always glad to see your results, so tag me on your artworks posted on Instagram so I could see them. That's it! Thanks for watching!